What's up, family? Man, you were what they needed. You were what they wanted. And they took you for granted. It is what it is. You know what I mean? Stay with me. We're going somewhere. You know, it's crazy how we get caught up in our feelings and our emotions because we've given so much of ourselves to other people that didn't know how to appreciate us, that didn't know how to accept us for who we were, who we are. You know what I mean? They took us as suckers. They took us as a game. You, you know what I mean? And man, they just, they did what they did for whatever reason. Their selfishness, their greed, their immaturity. Um, man, to boost their own confidence, whatever. It don't matter why they did what they did. It really don't. Not in the grand scheme of life. Not to you. Why? Because it don't matter why they did what they did. They did it. You know what I mean? It's a done deal. It happened. The question is, what are you going to do about it? See, so often, so many of us that have been taken for granted, so many of us that are chosen ones, that are star seeds, that are light workers, that are healers, you know what I mean? And that rainbow warriors and healers and all these other different things, labels and titles we give ourselves. So many of us have been taken for granted. So many of us have been dogged the fuck out. Play like a fucking fiddle. You know what I mean? And it is what it is. Don't get caught up in your ego. Don't get caught up in your ego. Tell my man, look at me. Man, I'm so stupid and I'm dumb and da-da-da. That's one aspect of our ego where we start beating ourselves up and tearing ourselves down. The other aspect of our ego is that, man, fuck these motherfuckers. Nobody else will ever do me like that again. And I'll never let somebody that close to me. I'll never let somebody, you know, get, you know, within this realm. I'll never trust another fucking dude again. I'll never trust a fucking woman again. I'll never fall in love again. Fuck love, da, 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 da. We go through all these fucking games. That's all it is. We go through these fucking games. Ego trips. That's all unresolved issues. And oftentimes when we get our heart broke, we go into this little cocoon. We go into this little cave. It's a natural self-defense mechanism. But then we stay there too long. Then we get comfortable there. Then we get real defensive and guarded and untrusted. We get jaded. We get sarcastic. And we don't want to fuck with people no more. Why? Because we've been hurt. We've been taken advantage of. And we're going to make damn sure nobody else do it to us again. Because we're not understanding that that's all ego trip. That's an ego trip. I've been there. I know the pain. I know the frustration. At the end of the day, it's still an ego trip. It's an ego trip. That's what's hurt. That's what hurt. Your ego's been bruised. I know it's in my heart's been hurt because we don't understand what the fuck is going on. It's your ego. How could this motherfucker do me that way? I would have did woo do woo do I would have gave my all da 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 we got all this stuff we say. And it's probably real. It's most likely we're real. But our ego has been offended. What I mean our ego's been offended. We didn't think they would do that to us. And because they did that to us. It makes us feel like we ain't shit. Because they abandoned us, because they left us, because they rejected us, because they used us, because they've taken advantage of us and all this other stupid ass shit, our ego is offended because how dare you do me that way? I would have never did you like that. I gave more to your bro grimy ass I let you in when nobody else would fuck with you and we'll do we have all this shit and that's all ego 
That's all ego. What are you going to do about being taken advantage of? What are you going to do about being unappreciated? The great majority of us stop giving. The great majority of us stop doing for others. Fuck that shit. I learned my lesson. Oh, hell no. Nah. I'm not giving to nobody else. I don't give a fuck who it is. It could be my mama asking. And nope, nope, nope. That's because we haven't resolved our issues. Because we haven't grown up. Because we haven't healed that area of our life. It is what it is. We have to grow up. We have to grow up. Man. In this life. In this walk. As star seeds. As children of God. As chosen ones. Whatever. Man. You're going to run across people that. They're going to take advantage of you. You're going to run across people that just suck everything out of you. You're going to run across people that just drain the fuck out of you. You're going to run across people that won't even run game on you. It is what it is. I don't care what you do in life. You're going to meet people like that. Everybody meets people like that. Everyone. The question is, how are you going to respond to that? There's a beacon of hope, beacon of love as a child of God, as a true chosen one. How you respond to that? There's a lot about your growth and development. How you respond to being taken advantage of, how you respond to getting disappointed, dogged out, rejected, abandoned, betrayed, how you respond to all those things. There's a hell of a lot about you. It says something about that other person. But I ain't talking to that other person. I'm talking to you. How you respond says everything about you, not the other person. How are you going to respond? Are you going to go tit for tat with them? Are you going to get your payback? Are you going to try to fuck them over more? If you're a chosen one, you're not. If you're a star seed, you ain't. If you're a light worker or a healer or any of those other, you're not going to try to retaliate. You're not. You can't be a beacon of hope, beacon of love. Getting on everybody else's frequency. And doing the same stupid ass bullshit that they do. See, as light workers, as children of God, as chosen ones, we're set apart. We're set apart. And what I mean by set apart is we're different. And what makes us different is how we respond to life. How can you be a beacon of hope, a beacon of love? And you're doing the exact same thing everybody else is doing. We have to grow up. It's hard. Because that means you got to deal with some shit. You're going to have to learn how to bite your motherfucking tongue. And shut the fuck up when you really want to say some shit. When you really want to cuss this motherfucker out and go left on his monkey gorilla looking ass. Learn to shut the fuck up and just. 
Okay, God, what is this? Trying to kill me. God, I want to slap the shit out this bitch because this bitch got me fucked up. Man, God, let me just choke the fuck out her crazy ass. Okay, God, my bad. Usa, what is this? I want to call her a crazy ass bitch, God, but I know that ain't cool. God, what is this lady? What is this female trying to show me about me? What am I supposed to learn about my growth and development in this situation? Dealing with this particular person. And that's hard. Everybody can't do that. Everybody ain't going to do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? It is what it is. But we have to grow up. We have to grow up. And this is what Jesus meant. When he was talking about when somebody does something to you, forgive them. Forgive them. If they slap you, turn the other cheek. That's what he was talking about. That's what he was talking about. When somebody breaks your heart, when somebody betrays you, when somebody does something grimy as fuck to you, we have to learn how to pull back our emotions, pull back our feelings, because that's all ego. I used to have the ability, and I still do, I just don't do it anymore. But I had the ability to cuss you out so fucking bad. To make you feel so fucking small. So fucking insignificant. With my words. I didn't even have to put my hands on you. Just my words to make you feel like shit. But I had to grow up. I had to learn to flip that and take that ability to help heal people, enlighten people with my words, as opposed to tearing them down and making them feel less than or worse than what they already do. How are you going to respond? How are you going to respond? Are you going to allow your emotions to get the best of you? That's what the great majority of humanity does. They allow their emotions to dictate their life. They allow their emotions to dictate what they do. They're a slave to their motherfucking feelings. That's chosen ones. That's star seeds. That's children of God. That's light workers. That's healers. That's beacons of hope, of love, and light. We control our emotions. We control our feelings. We don't allow them to control us. That's the difference. That's the difference. Man, hope and pray that I said something to inspire you, to encourage you, to even challenge your way of thinking. We have to grow up. I love you. Happy healing. Peace.